Hello, my name is Renier Varia, and for this IBM Q Radar demonstration, I will be focusing on the Offenses tab of Q Radar. All right, so let me go ahead and log in. When I click on log in here, as C would, um, I'll get a dashboard, and let me just ex quickly explain uh, what the dashboard is, because uh, that's the first thing that a security analyst will see. Um, it's that continuous view of what's happening in the network uh, for your enterprise, and it's that uh, security analyst's lens, single lens into the network and its endpoint. So as a stock analyst, the first thing I'll do is look at my dashboard uh, to get a summary of what's going on and get a pulse of what's going on in, uh, in the environment that I'm currently monitoring. And as an analyst, I can't manage what um, I can't see. So a sim like IBM Q Radar helps the analysts prevent, detect, respond to threats in the single collaborative platform. So that's what uh, you're seeing here in the dashboard. But as I said in today's demo, I will be focusing on the offenses tab here. I already gave a demo earlier um, around uh, the network activity and the log activity. Um, and now we are touching on the offenses tab. So when you click on the offenses tab, uh, the default view is called the offense manager. Okay, this is where Curator's strengths are and its ability to cross correlate logs, flows, IP reputation feeds, vulnerability scans, and user behavioral analytics with machine learning. Uh, and it's a place where events are chained together in what we refer to in the security industry as event chaining. The primary benefit of Curator SIM for security analysts is that it detects suspicious activities and ties them together into offenses. So all the log sources that are being ingested that contain event and flow information <clears throat> are all being correlated. And the ones that are um, have properties uh, and patterns that are similar to each other, they uh, generate uh, an offense. So the offense represents a sus suspected attack or a policy breach. And some common offenses include uh, these examples like multiple login failures, uh, observed file hash associated with malware, threat, uh, UBA offenses, unauthorized traffic from a, a HIPAA network are, are some of the examples, All right? Curator SIM creates an offense or an offense when events and flows or events, flows, or both uh, meet a test criteria that's specified in a changeable rules that analyze the following information, incoming events and flows, asset information. Um, and on the left-hand side are different categories of uh, offenses that are occurring. And one of my favorite, because uh, inevitably you'll see a, a number of rows here and could be in the hundreds, could be in the thousands. And so it's kind of nice to have it categorized uh, by category, by source IP, by destination IP. I like to myself go to the, the category section um, and because it breaks it down into uh, specific category types such as um, application risk or exploitation risk or malware or suspicious activity. And it gives you the number of offenses that have been generated for each of these category. Uh, it gives you uh, the number of events and flows, the first time it was uh, the offense occurred, the last time that it occurred. So there's a lot of information that it shows here. So let's, uh, let's take a look at one of these activities, uh, suspicious pattern detected. Looks like there was uh, one offense that was generated and uh, there was a total of uh, three counts for an event and flow. So if I go ahead and double click on this, <clears throat> What you'll see here is uh, more granular detail on that particular offense or actually isolated it to that offense. Uh, and I can double click on it even further to actually get the, the summary. And this is the, uh, this is the one place that a lot of analysts would like to go to and to help troubleshoot their environment. So let me just kind of explain the screen a little bit. Uh, what you'll see is the offense number at the top here, 1058. But what it'll also show you is 
what was the attack? Here's a description of it over here. You know, is the attack credible? Gives you a credibility score here, and I'll explain this magnitude information in a little bit here. How valuable are the targets to the business, right? And that's, uh, you know, that information is also shown here under um, uh, the offensive source summary. And, and it also tells you who was responsible for the attack. In this case, uh, there's a person, username called N, N Cider. Very clever. Uh, <clears throat> And so there's a number of other information that gets shown here in terms of the off offense source summary. All right. So if I scroll down even further, um, well, actually, let me let me explain a magistrate. Uh, I explained this in my in my demos for the log activity and network activity, but let me just go and explain it from the, an, an offense perspective. Um, the magistrate is a um, component in Curator that rates each offense uh, by its magnitude, uh, which has three characteristics uh, ranging from one to 10 and one being low, 10 being high. Uh, and it specifies the relative importance of that particular offense. So let's, let's break this down. The uh, magnitude score is made up of relevance, severity, and credibility. And relevance helps the security analyst answer how important is the, the destination? And that indicates the importance of the destination. Uh, the less important areas of the, the network have lower relevance and Curator determines the relevancy by the weight of the network and its assets. Then you have the severity. Severity uh, indicates the amount of the threat to an attack. It helps the um, answer the question, how high is the potential damage to this destination? And then from a credibility perspective, that gives uh, indicates the reliability of the witness. Credibility increases if multiple sources report the same attack. So it'll help answer the question, how valid is the information from that source? So that's that's what that magnitude score gives you. As I scroll down here, uh, we can tap into Watson Advisor, all right? And what Watson Advisor does is it will look at all the data points that are outside of your environment and, uh, and look at the global threats that are occurring and see if there are patterns that are similar and then provide insight into what others have done uh, in regards to a cyber event, how they took care of it, you know, what's, what's the, uh, what's, what are the actual threats. So it breaks things down into like the number of threat actors, malware families, uh, it gives you a couple scores here. Uh, in terms of the, the assets or users, and then any related investigation that's going on. At any point, you can click on View Investigation. If you click on View Investigation, that gives you a, uh, a view of all the key observables. All right, so here there are five critical observers, uh, observables. It's identified here, critical. Uh, the description of it looks like there's a trojan uh horse a back door uh that's occurring and so forth there are uh two threat actors there are 11 malware families so as i scroll down here you can see uh the the uh the priority of each of those observables all right on the right hand side uh they it would also give you uh some miter attack tactics and techniques uh, and you can look at the evidence by clicking on uh, this icon here and expanding it further. Well, what's really neat about Watson Advisor Investigation is the graph relationship. It will graph the relationship that it finds in your network, you know, where all the malware are located, um, what IP addresses have been affected, uh, users that are currently uh, either a threat or have been affected. So you'll see a graphical representation of what's happening into your network. Uh, and, and you can look at the relationships here. Uh, and you can also further filter it to, you know, just give me all the, the critical uh, relationship. Uh, so the, here are the critical relationships, are the observable and that insider threat person right here. Um, you know, I can give the, the high concerns, and these are some of the relationships that are being mapped to those observables. 
uh, and then some some medium ones and then low end ones. So you get a really good representation of what's happening in the network. Um, if you want to nail it down to the, the, a person, you can also select the, the individuals, the IP addresses, uh, assets, files, hashes. So uh, you get a good breakdown of what's happening uh, in your environment. All right, so let me go back to the offense tab again um, and scroll further. If there are any notes that other security analysts have entered, you'd see them here. If there are any search results, you'd see them here. Uh, it'll give you the top five source IPs where that uh, information was coming from. The top destination IPs uh, are down here. The top log sources, top categories, uh, and a breakdown in terms of their score. And um, in any one of these, you can select either uh, each of these row and double click on it and dive even deeper from a troubleshooting perspective. Uh, let me just keep scrolling here. These are the last 10 events. Uh, the last 10 flows or zero, uh, the last uh, the top five annotations uh, by other users uh, were entered here. All right. So again, from an analyst perspective, again, I can drill down um, uh, even further uh, in each one of these categories and look for additional information and insight to help mitigate the, uh, the issue that uh, my organization is experiencing. All right. Um, in this offensive view also, uh, again, just like in the, the network activity and the log activity, uh, I can filter uh, based on the, the views in terms of time range, uh, start and end date and time. I can do quick searches. All the capabilities to help drive down into uh, your troubleshooting activities for a, uh, an event. All right. So that concludes my... Uh, demonstration on the offensive tabs and uh, I hope it was uh, I was able to provide you with some input and uh, uh, insight on how valuable the tool can be uh, from the offensive tab perspective I'm looking forward to your to your um, your insight or your your um, your opinion of, of the demo I hope it, it was helpful and looking forward to your your feedback Thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.